Jimmy and Lisa with Finest Camping, bringing you another episode of Tuesday Talks. Today, we're going to go over a couple things that we have learned over the years on how to keep stuff on your walls as we're driving down the road. So we do have a lot of miles. I think this year we put over, last year and a half since we had this camper, we put over 20,000 miles on this camper. So Lisa is always as my interior decorator. <laughs> She is always trying to find ways to keep things on the wall without putting screws in there and putting holes in there. Uh, you know, like in your, in your sticks and bricks, you have studs here, you have studs there. Um, you can screw into it and you can put anchors and stuff. So we don't have those options. Yeah, and an RV, finding a stud is not always just that Except easy. Except for me, I'm the stud. Oh boy. And yeah, so <laughs> I'm a little opposed to drilling holes in the walls or putting screws in the walls only to find out that there's no stud there and it's not like sheetrock where you can just put a little mud in it and it'll be gone. We've done this. In this camper we've done that. Yeah, I, I, I'm not a fan. So I do have two things attached to the wall in this RV that I've screwed to the wall and that is the little hooks that my dog leashes hang on because they're so heavy that they tend to pull other stuff off the wall. But short of that and short of things that we attach, um, that we've used to strap things down to in the garage, those of course have to be we bolted screwed those to the wall. They're, they're bolted to the wall. Didn't anything, want to do that. Anything else in our camper, whether it be something hanging on the wall, whether it be something sitting on a shelf, every other thing in our RV is held in place by one of two things. So. Most of the things that are hanging on the wall are hanging on the wall with a command strip. So it might be something like this. It might be something like this, the little hooks. They have ones with white backs, clear backs. Um, they have little clear ones. I have these in my shower on the wall and we have our um, scrunchies for the bath, for the shower, hanging on them so that they dry and they stay there while we're going down the road. So then there's also the command strips that are white that would go on the back of these because it doesn't matter. And then they also make them in clear to go on the clear ones so they don't show up. They also make Velcro, which these you can reuse. So if you take something down that's got the Velcro, you just put another command strip on the back and you can reuse them. So the one thing you wanna pay attention to when you're using command strips is, so these are both the white foamy, but see they're different sizes. Um, if you look on the package when you buy it, so this is just a clear hook. They show a little um, wallet hanging from it. Four pounds. That's the weight capacity for Four that one. Four pounds. This is an assortment pack I got, um, and it says a half a pound to five pounds. And then down at the bottom, it tells you that that varies depending on which size you use. I always underestimate, overestimate, I don't know. If it's two pounds, I try to go for the one that says it's weighted for, or rated for five pounds. Bigger is always better. I just feel like when you're going down the road and things are, you know, bouncing, that there's a greater chance of it falling off the wall than it would be if you hung it on your wall at home and there's no movement. So I may not need to do that. It's just what I do. And So then, far, everything she's put on the walls Yeah, nothing has falls. Stayed. Nothing. Shh, knock on knock wood. Knock on wood. Nothing has fallen yet. Even on these um, great highways. And if it on. does, then I just use a bigger command strip next time. Or what a good thing about the command strips too. If you have to move it, yeah, you just pull you it just, off. And pop you just a new pull one it on. up, and it, the glue comes off. Everything comes off the wall. And they're relatively and inexpensive. So, like, I even have a basket hanging in um, our living room, whatever you want to call it, that our remotes go in. So it's a longer burger basket, which not that that makes it heavy, but I mean it is a basket, the weight of the basket, and then it has our TV remote and our Roku remote both in it and it stays on the wall. It has one of, I think it's clear, but it's one of these with a the little metal hook on it. Um, and it stays, it doesn't go anywhere. So there's that. And then there's things that you wanna put on shelves. So like the shelf over our bed, I have a collection of seashells. Some of them are heavier than others and they stay in place with sticky putty also known as museum putty and this is how it's packaged just so you know it kind of reminds me of like modeling clay you just peel off however big of a piece you need it's like bubble gum yeah and don't chew it though 
You just smush it together between your fingers until it gets nice and soft. And then you put it on whatever you want to stick up and you push it up. If it's on the wall, like I have some things hanging on the wall with this. They just hold it on the wall or my shelves. I think Jimmy's going to get some video of that. You can see him. And if you look, yeah, you can see a little piece of this sticking out from underneath the shell. But when you see all the shells I have up there and none of them come down when we're moving. It's held very well. And then if you decide you don't want it there anymore, you just pull it off and you stick this back in here. Just like you used to do with the old gum when you put the gum in the wrapper. And it goes in there. <laughs> this isn't even sealed. So like it doesn't dry out. Um, yeah, so this I got in an RV show. I don't know, a couple years ago, it was if you bought one, you got one free or two for $10. And we still have this I don't much know. left. And so I've used one completely. And yes, you can, I don't know if you can see, but like this one's just to here. So the majority of it's still here. I just opened this one a couple weeks ago when I was putting the shelves up in the bedroom. So I've also used this to hang things on the wall. So it doesn't just have to be for things you want to put on shelves, but it is amazing. Amazing. So something that I don't know how you could live without if you're in an RV but it's very inexpensive. So he will put a link below. We'll put um, it for both of them. We'll put it for the command strips. I know command strips, strips you can get anywhere, but if, you know, if you're on the road, Amazon, this I know you can get on Amazon. The only place I've ever seen it other than that was at the RV show, of course. I never really looked for it anywhere else. But um, so yeah, those are my two favorite things for hanging stuff on the walls or for keeping stuff on shelves and their place. Um, and next week, you're going to want to tune in for Tuesday Talks because... We come up with a pretty neat idea for our shower. We did a little renovation in the bathroom. We won't spoil it for you, but it has to do with the shower. So you won't want to miss that. And don't forget on Sundays is our big video time. This is when we put our videos out, our longer videos. These are our short videos, five minutes or less, six minutes or less, whatever it is. Sundays are going to be like campground tours or new RV floor plans or maybe a big renovation that we do but um tuesday talk is going to be little stuff like this just quick easy in and out let you know what we got going on is there on, anything that you guys are found. using in your campers that we need to check out uh, this is what the rv community is all about we want to know what you're using what's helping you on the road who knows we may get like it this and we put it on a, we might put it on the channel so command strips have been using for years this i had never even heard of um and then i, I, I ran into a, a, a full-time family and she said, yeah, I've heard about Museum Putty. I, I don't really know. And I'm like, girl, let me tell you, it's the best thing ever. You need to get you some. So if if I hadn't found it at the RV show, I still wouldn't know. So hidden secret. So get you some of those. Get you some of the command strips. Don't forget, if you're liking these videos, we're going to try to put these out every Tuesday. So make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe. Subscribe to our channel. Bell. Ring our bell. You know, do all the stuff. Do all that stuff. And then hopefully one day you guys will find us camping on the road. And until the next time, safe travels, everyone. Hey, y'all. Jimmy and Lisa will find us camping. Today, we're going to bring you another Tuesday Talks. I was trying to do something different. Well, you confused me. I know. <laughs>